to this day, we still buy from the people that my father picked as having the best tasting maple syrup. The taste of Vermont comes from this land. It's the maple trees that are in our hillsides and our mountains. Pure maple syrup comes from wild-grown trees that are native to the northern forest here. These rugged mountain groves that produce the best sap, the sweetest sap. The trees we harvest sap from need to be at least 40 years old. We have older trees further up the mountain, uh, some of which were used in the Civil War era. We're in this for decades and generations. When I was five years old, I'd be out in the woods with the buckets, gathering sap. I think it's very grounding. The opportunity to create something from nothing and to do it in a way that leaves a place, hopefully, in a better way than the way you found it. It's a wonderful way to spend a career and a life. It's a healthy sweetener. In the consumption of maple, one consumes minerals, vitamins, uh, phenolics. They say that only 2% of the population of the world has ever tasted real maple syrup. Well, of course, when people think of Vermont, they think of maple syrup. She drinks it, I think. <laughs> When we're going on vacation, I have to bring my own maple syrup because it's a risk that you might end up with the fake stuff. I put it in my coffee. Would you like a sample of syrup? Oh, all right. Might as well, right? Yeah. It goes well with like pepperoni and sausage, to be honest with you. You dip it in. Ice cream, pancakes. I mean, you could dip a cabin in maple syrup if you want. It's going to taste pretty good. I actually kind of like it with cheese. Maple goes good with anything. We have a Vermont maple law that requires the syrup to be as thick as possible. It's the thickest maple syrup in the world. Is it good? Yeah. It tastes good and good for you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> maple syrup on eggs. Have you had that? No. That's my favorite.